Hey, it's Chris, and I'm going to take Fancy Pants, and I'm going to blend in her neck here, so let's just tighten up a little. Now, I'm going to try using a 4F just because I want to build on the arch of the neck, which is that muscle that's right behind the occiput, and just give her a little more neck. So this is a 4F where I use the 5F everywhere else on her body. A so 4F. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blending shears all right, and brush and my comb and just blend this in so that it's natural. Now she doesn't have a terrible top line so I could have probably just went with a 5F all the way around but just for the sake of learning a lot of these guys don't have good shoulders they don't have good neck and so what this does is it covers up a little bit of the lumps and the bumps and things like that. So it just blends in the neck a little bit smoother. Um, if you're challenged, make sure you can always lift this up. But the key is the 45 tooth blenders in this area, not the 26 tooth blenders. 26 tooth blenders or the chunkier style blenders will leave very big marks in the neck. So this is the 45 tooth blender. All right, and look how nice that blends in. All right, and you're just gonna take your undercoat or your carding tool and remove some of that undercoat. See how nice that lays? Look at all that undercoat coming out of her neck, but look how nice that lays. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that you've blended in all of the the different areas here on this neck as well because if you look we've got a lot of changes going on here we've got the occiput we've got a level plane here and then we've got to blend in behind the ear and that's all part of that neck area so you want nice clean smooth lines here where you cannot really tell that there's been changes in blade length because think about it we did a 5f width and we blended we did a 10 blade here we did a 5f here so all this has to blend naturally into the neck then we did a 4f back here so it needs to look like it grew that way all right stand up big girl stand up let's show them all right i'm gonna loosen this just a touch but remember always to keep your loop tight now snap it back and look how nice that blends very pretty you can also in the neck area define the colors if you'd like but ultimately you want that to blend smoothly into the shoulders thanks